on biochemistry analyzer tutorial uh, now we will start the machine and see how the program is going to work for the machine so this is the main screen now we will press enter this is the test optical we will say right now we will say yes to see how the procedure is in the machine itself testing itself once the self testing is done you will see the optical check ok option then this is the main screen where you can see date and time on the name of kanas photon you can enter your own lab name and by going to the configuration in the menu so we will start press enter to start now this is the main menu mode where you can see that this is a test mode then you can see using the arrow keys i am changing the cursor from test to program then there is configuration mode results mode as well as absorbance mode and back so we will first go to the programming i can see that the cursor is here so that okay so let's start with the enter now select op option now this is new program view or edit or delete the programs we will select new program press enter the program number it will show first with what is the new program number new program number now this is the name in characters enter the test name any test name that you can enter uh, whatever the parameters you have you are uh, given in the test kit you have to enter those so for example we will select the name of the test as by using clr you can clear it we will select the name as test next confirm the test name yes now what is the method of that test end point or fixed time or kinetic so for a consideration we will right now see kinetic method confirm method kinetic yes what is the what is the wavelength of that what is the wavelength mentioned in the whatever my whatever the wavelength that is mentioned in your kit you should look at the kit parameters first and then only enter the wavelength so if if it is let's say 505 we will select 505 by the, using the cursor keys yes secondary wavelength that is this is for a bichromatic reading if the kit doesn't mention bichromatic you don't have to give anything and select none confirm none yes whatever the units are like mg per dl or mm per mole or u per l whatever the digits are now if i select u per l it will be the u per l yes then select decimals none 1 2 or 3 now if you want the readings in like 190 etc you select none if you want the readings like 0.1 0.2 0.3 like that you select one uh, if you uh, select have the reading in if you want the reading in 0.00 then you select two if you want the reading in 0.000 you select three so this is how you are doing this so for this if we select one now select temperature there are two temperatures available room temperature as well as 37 uh, normally kinetic test is done at 37 so i will say right now 37 but if the test is mentioned the test is in th uh, room temperature you can see that room temperature again you have to consider first the kit parameters that is given inside your kit now choose mode standard factor of multi point calibration now multi point calibration is mode is basically for tests which are having multiple standards so right now as a, as of now uh, we will select simple mode that is standard or factor or multi point calibration or the three modes so we will select the standard mode first this is a standard mode whatever the standard is if i select let's say a standard is of 100 i will select 100 enter 100 confirm value delay time in seconds whatever the delay time is you mentioned in the kit you can select delay time in the mentioned in the kit interval time whatever interval time mentioned in the kit you can select now this is a just is a general test it is not any specific given i am just going through the option that the machine asks when you are giving the new programming so interval number whatever in, number of intervals are mentioned in the kit parameters yes now what is the uh, slope of the reaction which is a decreasing reaction or increasing reaction it is also mentioned in the kit so if it is a increasing i will select increasing reaction initial absorbance limit if i don't select anything i it by default it will get 1.0a but if you want you can also select 0.8 as your initial absorbance now if i say print parameters the parameters will print like this you can see the test list is there you can see that this is how the parameters are printed inside this <coughs> so 
so we will select yes now press enter and save to exit yes now uh, we are again going back to main screen press enter to start now in this you have to select the test menu in test menu you can select the test number now right now it was the third number so i will select test as you can see the it shows the name is test select yes now this is a check reagent if you want to have the reagent checked if it is good or bad you can select this reagent option right now i will not select anything so i will select no now as we have given 37 degree temperature the machine will come to 37 first and then machine will start for ask for your distributor and sample until meantime we will go through the machine or what is the basic options that are given with the machine and what are the advantages of this machine as you can see this is an led based machine and it has no filters it has no maintenance part zero maintenance as it is dust proof design there are no mechanical movements inside this machine so this is how the advantage of this machine is and along with that all the tests are done at only 250 microliters reagent volume so minimum reagent volume so you can get your test cost per test reduced by half so that is the main advantage when you are having your cost saved by this now uh, this machine can perform the <coughs> as you can see this machine can perform four different types of instruments in a single instrument that is biochemistry turbidity electrolytes as well as elisa readings it can perform on the back side of this you can see that we have given the test menu where you can see all these tests are getting performed by this machine it <coughs> it also lists and lists the hba1c as well as elisa readings inside this machine so now the machine has come to 37 it has asked for <coughs> distributor blank so we will first give it a distributor blank now we are using these kinds of semi macro cuvettes as you can see it's a semi macro cuvette uh, 100 cuvettes a box we are uh, basically are given with the machine i will put this cuvette inside this cuvette box and press enter so this is an instead standard now the machine will ask for standard and we have to enter standard so whatever that standard is let's say i am giving a distributor only right now but this is just for the performance how the machine is performing right right so this is how any test will be done and the machine is going to perform thank you